up guys Chandler here for those interested here there are going to be time codes listed in the description if you just want to watch a certain part of the video but the reactions that you are about to see was taken from my full album reaction exclusive to patreon so if you do like what you see please feel free to head over to uh, patreon.com slash Chandler Burton Entertainment to join the five dollar tier in the five dollar tier you're going to get a shout out in each video that I do for YouTube you're also going to get full album reactions and full EP reactions there also is a one dollar tier where you will again get a shout out in each video that I do for YouTube. You'll also get some inspirational pick me ups and song lyrics that I do not share anywhere else. Also, what I've been doing here is I've been uploading uh, previews of my album reactions to TikTok, and I did do one for um, asking Alexander to see what's on the see what's on the inside, but it actually got muted. So what I did is I actually uploaded it on my Google Drive. So that link's going to be down below in the description um, if you want to watch the album preview to kind to see if uh, the Chandler Burton Entertainment Patreon is uh, the right way uh, for you. Um, without further ado, we'll go ahead and jump into the video here, but of course we do want to give a shout out to our Patreons here. I want to give a shout out to Larry Stombug, Mary Getty, Spitz, Josiah Stewart, Mark Loves Metal, Justin, Adam Daly, Faith, Chris Scott, Hardcore Kyle, and my brand new Patreon, Miguel Munoz. Thank you guys so much here for supporting me at Chandler Burton Entertainment. And so the reactions that you'll get here is going to be asking Alexandra faded away and never gonna learn. They're right, they're back to back to one another, so I'm just gonna upload it all in one video for you guys. And also my review will be attached at the very end of the video. But again, I hope you guys enjoy uh, the reactions review for asking Alexandra to see what's on the inside. Take care, guys. Song is called "Faded Out," I think. Yeah, "Faded Out." I think it's the next song. I'm hoping the rest. I hope the rest of the album doesn't disappoint because "Alone Again" is really good, and sometimes it's like a one-hit wonder with albums. Sometimes, so we'll see. Two for two. Oh. <laughs> yeah, dude. This this is a good direction for them. We had a little bit of screaming. Yeah, you go, Danny. I still think when Danny screams, he's got some of the best growls, dude. Dude, his vocal patterns are so good. His voice is just perfect for the weight. That's amazing. This chorus is awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, catchy. Oh, I love when the guitar plays and then, like, it stops. I love I'm a sucker for that, man. Kind of a little bit of slip, Dottie. I'm faded. I thought we were gonna maybe get a scream there, but that's okay. That was cool. There's a little bit of layered screams in the back. That's cool. Oh, yeah, 
dude. That was an awesome chorus, man. That was that was a good song. That was actually really dope. I'm excited to see what else the rest of the album has in store for us. All right, this one is uh, I think never never gonna learn. This music video just dropped last night. Oh my gosh! Oh, Danny, you can sing, brother! Oh yeah, dude! I like this, man! He's wearing a Ben Sevenfold jacket. <laughs> I like the whistle, that's cool. Like, it's so... I'm so happy for them because they blew up so fast. And I think they finally found something that, they're, I mean, they're really good at this kind of music. I like that. Like the ah, oh. Danny, dude. I mean, everyone else is doing great too, but like the Pantera sure have been. It's such a good mix. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Danny's old band, We Are Harlot, but this is better. Y'all remember We Are Harlot? Last, like, an album. Oh! Yeah, I got that. Another guitar solo? I like that, dude. That's awesome. Oh, I love the way that sounds, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah, that rip. I am like overjoyed right now. That was awesome. I'm so happy they've taken a better direction. I'm super stoked for it, man. I can't wait to see the rest of the album has to hold. All right, guys. So this is going to be my first uh, thoughts review of Asking Alexandria. See what's on the outside. I'm just going to give some a couple of positives here, uh, some things I didn't like about it, and just give you an overall score. Um, overall, man, I really enjoyed the album. I think this was a really good direction for them. Um, I know they've been trying to break out of the metal core scene for a while because, like, they seriously were like, they were like, they 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 broke through the sound barrier faster than like any other band, like them. A Day to Remember and I Prevail are like the only bands I've seen break through so fast. And I know once obviously bands get older, they don't really want to play post-hardcore or metalcore anymore. And I understand that. I understand bands need to grow. And I feel like this is a perfect mix of what Asking Alexandria has wanted to do. Let's go ahead and jump into pro number one. I'm going to say pro number one that this album is a huge improvement to like a house on fire that album wasn't terrible but it real it still felt like there was something there that they weren't able to achieve if that makes sense uh, they were still on Sumerian which is not a big deal they were on there forever and Sumerian does have some pretty good bands but I don't know maybe them switching over to better noise music really helped them because this was a massive improvement and literally as I said before during the video 
Like a House on Fire only came out like a little over a year ago. So, I mean, this is a huge step in the right direction for them. I think that's really, really cool. I'm gonna say number two, uh, all the choruses on the album were super catchy. I mean, everything was molded so well and it was so much better than any of their previous stuff. Uh, to be honest, man, like I do like Stand Up and Scream. It's not my favorite album by them. Uh, Rex the Relentless, I do enjoy to this day. I think it's a really good album. From Death to Destiny, I actually do like that album a lot. I know a lot of people are not a big fan of it. I know the mix is kind of weird, but I mean, that's kind of besides the point. Uh, I was not a fan of The Black, and it's not because, I mean, I'm not a really a fan of Dennis as a, as a person. I don't know him, but I feel like him and I probably wouldn't get along. And I just, it, it really wasn't because of him. It just, it, it just felt all over the place and it just didn't sound good to me. Uh, their self-titled was okay. It's got a couple of songs on there that if it comes on, I'll listen to it. And like House on Fire, same thing. It's got a couple of songs on there that I'll be like, yeah, it's pretty good. But this, again, this album was so much, way better defined than any of their other previous work. And I'm really happy that they accomplished this. Um, this should have been their self-titled, if I'm going to be honest. Um, and it was really good. And I got to say, the lyrics and the production were fantastic. It's funny listening to songs like uh, Not the American Average, and then you jump to songs like See What's on the Inside, and I just think it's just incredible what they've been able to accomplish. I mean, they've learned from their mistakes, and they really have grown as a band and this is some of their best work yet in my opinion the only negative is it's kind of a love-hate relationship that i have with the song fame that riff is so sick but the lyrics again i understand what the song was talking about for me personally it just wasn't executed that well i need to listen again this is just my first like right after listening to the album thoughts so that could change in the past couple of weeks i definitely will be spinning this album uh a lot more because it was really really good Overall, man, I, I people may be shocked, but I really like this album. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 for See What's on the Inside. The, the mix was great. The choruses were great. Danny sounded wonderful. The guitar solos were great. Everything about it worked, man. The only song I really didn't like was Fame, but I liked the riff, so it's kind of a love-hate thing. So I absolutely had a great time listening to it here. This album may possibly make my top 10 albums of 2021. I'm going to jam it again on my own free time, but I think it is going to make it. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this reaction to see what's on the inside by Ask Alexandria. Uh, keep an eye out for next week. We are going to be jamming Trivium's new album in the Court of the Dragon, so definitely keep an eye out uh, for that. All right, guys. Well, thanks again for hanging out with me here and jamming to Faded Away and Never Gonna Learn by Asking Alexandria. I definitely really like these songs, and I think they're going in a good direction, and I think Asking Alexandria... Honestly, this album may make my top 10 albums of 2021. I really enjoyed it a lot. Um, and on the screen here as well, you're going to see all my social medias. Again, you're going to see my Patreon, my personal Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, uh, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation. Feel free to add me on any of those here. I love getting to know you guys, especially talking about music, movies, video games, anything like that. So if you want to chat about YouTube, music, or any of those things, please feel free to hit me up here at any one of those social uh, media platforms. And again, before you guys leave, please, please feel free to hit the subscribe button, the like button, share the video with your friends, and leave a comment down below. Um, it really does help with the YouTube algorithm, and I really appreciate you guys doing that for me. But again, thank you so much for all your support here at Chandler Burton Entertainment, and until next time, um, I hope you all take care. Take care, guys.